So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check whether a particular element is enabled or not. So for this, we use isEnable method in Selenium Java Web Driver. So let's start with the code. Before that, we are going to check name for Google search and I'm feeling lucky. So let's inspect the element, check for these buttons. And these have value btni and btnk, right? So let's go to the code and let's import org open QA selenium class and org open QA selenium firefox firefox driver. Now let's create a driver instance typing web driver driver new firefox driver. Now after that, let's redirect to google.com. Right, once we have that, let's create a web element. Element driver dot find element. Here we will check with the help of XPath. And for XPath, we need an expression. So in our case, it is input double slash input then within square bracket we will go for add the rate name equals to within single quote vtn capital i so after that we simply have if else block where we are checking element dot is enabled adds not condition then we will print out system out print ln element not enabled and in else condition we will make sure that element display enabled message exists okay we can also put try and catch block to avoid all the errors that we see on console if the element is missing okay so simply go to run menu and run project so it loaded our google web page and it will check for our element so button seems to be enable and we can click on it that's what we see here so how about we changing this to something else to get some errors on our console so run the project again before that let's close existing window and run the project Okay, so it is showing us the errors on console that means our element is not existent so it cannot be seen as enabled or disabled okay so now we know how to check for elements whether it is enabled or not